it? I might, I might have said it was too ill. <laughs> you like it? Hi everyone! My name is Maya Nami and this is my student Shiro and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be teaching you how to do the scorpion. Let's go! But first, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's start with a very quick warm-up jumping jack. Keep going. Stretch. Jumps, normal jumps. Go. One, two. Dance, dance, dance. Jumping jacks again. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Come on, come on. And jumps again. Stretch. Last time, jumping jacks. Warming up slowly. Let's start with the neck. Neck rotation. Put your hands on your waist, please. Slowly. And then to the other side. It's very important to warm up every single part of your body. And let's go to the right, to the left. Stretch. Great job. Now let's do some shoulder rotation to the back. Then to the front. Good job. Stretch up on your toes, long spine, and go down. One, two, three, again. Up on your toes. And down. Last time, up on your toes. Just keep repeating whatever she is doing. And go down. Good job. Open your legs. Push your hips to the front. Just swing right and left, right and left. And now big circles to the right, to the left. Good job. Now let's go down on the mat, on your stomach. We're going to start with the cobra pose. One, two, three, stretch up. Good job. And down. Breathe whenever we're stretching. We're trying to relax the muscles and just trying to contract them and stretch them. Up, again, stretch. And down. Last time, up. And down. And now we're going to go to the fish pose. It's the same as the cobra. But now we're gonna try to touch our toes with our hand. Let's go, Shiro. Stretch up and down. Relax and try to do whatever she's doing. And if you cannot, just at least do the moves right. Last time, up. Two, three, four, and down. And now we're going to go for the box pose. Try to hold your feet and legs and stretch up as much as you can. This move needs mobility and flexibility in your arms, shoulders, packs, everything. Down, breathe. And remember, we are enjoying the stretching. And up again, Shiro is enjoying it. And down, and last time, up. Good job, and down. Let's go now for the cat camel, cow camel. Okay, so go one and two. Relax your neck down, and up, and two, and up, and just try to enjoy the move. Down, up, and down. Child pose. Okay, extend your arms to the front. Okay, relax your back. Try to push your back down and your chest as if your chest is sinking down. And again, camel cat. One and two. And one and two. One, two. And 
Let's go for the chop pose again. Good job, good job. Keep going, we're almost there. And now, let's go for the puppy pose. This move will help you to extend your arm and try to check your mobility in your shoulder. So, we start with this position and then you're gonna imagine that your chest is sinking down. Go down. Yes, as much as you can. Exactly. One, two, three, four, five. Relax and breathe. And let's do it again. Keep your hips back. Your hips should be over your knees. Push your glutes to the back zero. Yeah, this is it. And relax. One, two. Last time. Let's now try to go deeper. You can do it. And good job. Okay, lay down on your stomach. We're stretching the quads and one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for a low lunge to prepare ourselves for the half scorpion. Okay. Feel your hips pushing down, stretching the hip flexors, getting ready for the position for the scorpion. And switch legs. And again, switch legs. As you notice, this is a very fast, dynamic stretching so we are not sitting in the position for long just for seven to eight seconds it's not a static stretching it's a dynamic stretching and switch good job shiro how's the energy level good are you sweating yes she is me too <laughs> put your elbows down one two Three, four, and now you're gonna grab your leg from behind, stretching the quads. Oh, yes. One, two, three, and let's repeat the same thing on the other side. Getting ready for the half scorpion position. As you can see, her flexibility and mobility is amazing. Of course she is, she's my student, but you can reach her flexibility in no time, just keep practicing. Write it down in a notebook, train three to four times a week. It's just like 12 minutes a day and you will get there. And let's grab our leg from behind. And feel the quads, feel the hip flexors and breathe. Think of something really nice, something positive. Let your muscles relax. Okay, and now we're going for the half scorpion. So. You will notice that one leg is more flexible than the other and this is so normal. Okay, we are humans and normally we prefer one side more than the other. Shiro, what is your uh, best side, right or left? Right leg, from behind you mean? Yes, from behind, right? So if you don't know which side is better than the other side, you can do the test at home. So we're gonna sit in a half pigeon position. What is a half pigeon position, Shiro? Show me a pigeon position. So this is a pigeon, her leg is 90 degrees, and half pigeon, you're gonna put it under yourself and just sit on your leg. Try to keep your back straight, good job. And now we're gonna just grab our leg, just grab it from behind, and she's gonna check. Is this position comfortable enough? We're gonna count like one, two, three, four, five. Let's try it on the other side, okay? Same thing. Ah, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, and just grab your leg. Okay, which leg you prefer? Okay, so let's pick your best side then. Grab your leg from behind, okay. When you're comfortable in this position, I want you to wear your best socks ever, your longest socks at home, and try to stretch them out. Show us how, Shiro. 
Exactly. Stretch. Oh, okay, this is how you're gonna stretch them. But first, I'm gonna extend her arm, she don't like that. Okay, okay. So this is very important. It's very important how you grab your leg. If you grab it right, it's gonna be easy. Now I want you just to like uh, elongate your socks or just stretch them. Okay, it, oh my God, exactly. And now try to grab it with the other hand and hold this position. One, two, three, four, relax. Good job. So if it's really hard for you to grab your leg, you can use a rope, anything elastic, anything long, a towel, a top that is so elastic, uh, tie it to your leg and just try to hold it back with the uh, rope. But if it's easy to grab it with the socks, just like stretch the socks and try to grab it with both hands. Let's repeat it. So let's start with the first position, Shiro, which is putting our right arm, yeah, Okay, now stretching the socks and trying to grab it with the other hand. Oh my God! Good job. Okay, try to practice it a lot, but not too much because this move is gonna like uh, make your back sore for a couple of days. If you are not used to stretch your back or contract your back muscles, because in this movement, we are contracting the back muscles. We are squeezing them into each other. So if you feel any tightness, anything weird, just go for the child pose. Shiro, show us the child pose again. So while doing the child pose, you are stretching the back muscles again, and you're gonna feel better. Good job. I'm gonna show you now the full scorpion and I'm gonna do another video to help you with the full scorpion. First, make sure to get your half scorpion. Practice it like two or three times a week for 15 minutes. Just watch this video, practice the half scorpion three to two times a week. Try to feel your body. If you are sore, you are not recovering, then do it once a week and your body will adapt. But keep in mind, the back muscles are so like delicate. You can feel the soreness. It might take you like six or five days or three or two days to recover depending on your nutrition and how long you're sleeping. Just keep going. If you feel the soreness or tightness, this is normal, okay? Now, Shira is going to show us the full scorpion. One, two, three, four. Voila. Oh my God. Thank you everyone for watching. Please practice the routine once or twice a week. I hope you like it. Don't forget to push the thumbs up button, the notification bell. And bye everyone. Let's get flexy.